Maya Angelina, thank you for joining our program today. Thank you, Enoch. Well, can you tell us the HKSI's big plan this year to promote business ethic? Well, we've got lots of plans. Um, we plan to organize a professional ethics and governance series. Um, this, we hope to get the message out and a lot of participants will come. We also have our yearly ethics seminar, which um, has been a real success. And we've just seen growth over the years um, with, with participation from the market. We also do a number of professional courses, such as um, professional ethics uh, for responsible officers, um, as well as uh, key directors in companies and also the duties and liabilities of responsible officers just to teach the securities industry what are important things to know. And then finally, the Hong Kong SI uh, stresses uh, the importance of its board members as examples as well as reminding uh, members of their ethical responsibility and to do the right thing in the securities industry. But we have right now the uh, worst financial crisis in a century. Mm -hmm. Will that the financial crisis has any implication on the business ethic of the city? Well, unfortunately, yes. With um, the financial crisis, there's always an effect. But good business ethics is always important, and it's always in the forefront. And that's one of the reasons why the Hong Kong SI is trying to get the message out there, so that employers and employees remember to do the right thing, even though when times are hard. So it's important for employers to make sure that they properly supervise and train their employees. And then for employees, it's very important that they do the right thing for the company in terms of protecting the assets as well as looking after their business and just in the integrity of the market. From the company's point of view, do they need to pay more attention to their colleagues as well as their trading partners during the financial crisis? Well, first of all, trading partners. This is the first time that counterparty risk has really come into play. So I think it's important for a lot of securities firms to do their due diligence and um, check uh, about their trading partners. Um, we've never seen the market the way that it is now, and we've had a number of very high-profile financial institutions collapse. So it's important that you monitor your counterparty and trading part partners. In terms of from the company, uh, a company viewpoint, um, it's important to keep um, training and working with your employees and just stressing that doing the right thing is not a special thing. It should be a part of your everyday life and doing the right thing. So employers uh, should have checks and monitors, internal controls in place. And it's just good business practice. So. You were formerly work in the SFC and now you work in the private sector. Do you find the private sector also take business ethic important? Yes, I think they do. And the private sector, um, it's just good business practice for you to run your operation following the codes of conduct, the internal control guidelines that the SFC promulgates. It should be a part of your normal business ethic um, and normal business life. Um, getting to know your clients, serving your clients properly. There are always going to be bad apples and bad exceptions in, in the market. And if there weren't, the SFC wouldn't need to be around. So um, it's, it's very important that the SFC is there working with the market uh, to get doing the right thing out there. Wow, thank you very much for joining our program. Thank you, Enoch, for the invitation.